everyone, I'm Stella Chung. In today's fix, we explain the differences between Horizon Forbidden West on PS4 and PS5, E3 schedule is revealed, and the US government will release a report on UFOs. <laughs> Horizon Forbidden West will release on both PS4 and PS5, but with some graphical improvements to the PS5 version. In an interview with Game Informer, game director Matthias De Jong revealed that development on Horizon Forbidden West used the PS4 console and was designed with that hardware in mind. He said, for the PlayStation 5, we can go much further, of course. Visually, we can add more detail. Graphically, the rendering technique for the underwater scenes is special for the PlayStation 5. It has extra details and extra systems. Along with improved water and environmental details, the PS5 version is able to make use of the cinematic grade lighting system that the PS4 can only use in cutscenes. Also, something to note is a tweet from user Nibel who pointed out that an interview with French YouTuber Julian Chies revealed that the PS5 version supports 60 frames per second performance mode. The PS5 version of Horizon Forbidden West will also make the most of 3D audio and the DualSense controller where the adaptive triggers will simulate the resistance of a bowstring. The gaming news doesn't just stop there though, E3 just revealed its full schedule and fan registration is now open ahead of its start date on Saturday, June 12th. A press release from E3 revealed all the major showcases in the E3 2021 broadcast. On June 12th, we'll have the Ubisoft Forward Conference as well as some news from Gearbox Entertainment. On Sunday, June 14th, Microsoft and Bethesda's joint showcase will kick off at 10 a.m. Pacific, and there will also be a special presentation from Square Enix later that day, as well as the PC gaming show and future game show. Sunday, we'll see new information from Warner Brothers games, including Back for Blood, as well as 24 Entertainment, creators of Naraka Blade Point. Tuesday, June 14th is the last day of the show, and at 8 a.m., Nintendo will lay its cards on the table during its Nintendo Direct and Treehouse Live sessions. Following news from Bandai Namco and Eureka Games, the show will close with the official E3 2021 award show. There will be lounges for virtual meetings, forums to discuss and share information with other attendees, and this E3 portal will also let users watch the entire show with interactive overlays. Switching gears to some real life news, the truth may finally be out there when the US government releases a report on recent UFO sightings. According to the Intelligence Authorization Act for fiscal year 2021, intelligence and government officials are required to submit an unclassified report surrounding UFOs or UAPs as they're most commonly known today. This report is expected to present the most substantive US government account and detailed analysis of UAP slash UFO data and intelligence to date. It's being compiled by the head of the National Intelligence Agency and the Secretary of Defense. We don't know what's going to be in the report and it very well could be nothing big, maybe they figured out what the unidentified aerial phenomena actually are and they're nothing more than weather balloons. Or maybe these spooky UAPs may actually be threats to national, even world, security and we have to start preparing for war with ET. But really what concerns government officials most are not extraterrestrial threats, but UAPs may be evidence of advanced technology possessed by a nation that's not too friendly with America. Anyway, we'll find out when the report is presented to Congress sometime this month. With E3 coming up soon, what are you most excited to hear about? Will you be getting Horizon Forbidden West on PS4 or PS5? Let us know. I'm Stella Chung, and that was your Daily Fix. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our channel IGN Games for in-depth features, deep dives, and more gameplay to stay up to date on all details on new games being announced. Download the IGN app on all of your mobile devices, subscribe to The Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, IGN.com.